Hey everyone, so I'm going to go through my nail tutorial today with you. I will be doing an OPI shatter tutorial for you. And right now I'm just going to go through the products that I w will be using and then we will get started. So I have my Sally Hansen Maximum Strength Nail Polish Remover. I personally am not picky about what polish nail polish remover I use. It's OPI's Rapid Dry Spray in between my nail polish layers. Uh, my camera doesn't focus very well, so I'm not going to bring these too close because you're not going to be able to read it anyway. It's, this is my OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. For the color, I OPI Nail Polish that is um, Hey Get It In Lime. And then this is the white shatter, white OPI shatter. And for my top coat, I, I use INM, which is a professional brand, and it's called Total Eclipse Non-Yellowing UV Blocking Top Coat. And then, of course, I have some Q-tips and an orange stick for any little mishaps with nail polish. So let's just jump right on in and get started. This is a very sheer nail polish, so I'm going to have to do two coats. Okay, so the OPI Hey Get In Lime, which I think I said wrong before, is now pretty well dry. For the shatter, you can apply it thick or thin, and either or works, you can do some. The only thing I wish is that the brush, if the brush is the same size as, an, as a regular OPI one, but I kind of wish they had made it thicker for this because it's you can't really go over a second coat with this, so it it makes it hard on your thumbnail. Make sure you guys can see that. Just gotta work quick. Use my orange stick, oh, the other end. So as you can see, that's already working. So now I'm just going to clean them up. I have, I poured some of the nail polish remover in, just into the lid. And I'm going to take a Q-tip. The ones that aren't Q-tip brand are actually better for this kind of thing because the cotton isn't as thick. It, they're cheaper and they don't have as much cotton. So it's easier to use them to clean up edges. Now I'm going to use my INM Total Eclipse top coat. Well, there you have it everyone. There's the tutorial I've been wanting to do and I know it's on sort of a bad quality right now, but um I also had an idea of leaving all the nails mint green, and I meant to do this first. Just leaving the mint green and only doing the ring finger with the crackle, I thought that would be a nice accent to it too. So you could always do that. Just leave, just make this one crackle or whichever finger you'd like. And hopefully you like this. Hopefully it's still, you can still see it a bit. So I will 
talk to you guys later. Bye.